Welcome back to the show. It makes my legs ache just to look at this picture, this before and after picture, but pain really is just one symptom that you might need to do something about your vein. So how do you know really when a vein is just a cosmetic problem and when it's something more serious? Dr. Deborah Mangione is with the Wisconsin Vein Center and Medispa to tell us more about that. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you. You know, I bet it hurts for you when you see people coming into your office with, with, with veins that, at least to me, and looking at that picture, truly look painful. Yes, and many times they are, especially mm -hmm. women seem to have more pain with varicose veins than men do. You know, we'll often get men in who have huge varicose veins and had never had any symptoms, or they don't come in until they have a major problem, mm -hmm. like they have a superficial phlebitis, which means they've developed clot in those superficial veins on the surface, and then it's horribly painful. I bet. Um, talk about some of the other symptoms, though, because there are some that I imagine people don't necessarily associate with, right. with vein problems. Right. There are, there are three specific specific ones that I think we should talk about. One is re the restless leg syndrome. Believe it or not, probably 30 to 40 percent of people who have restless leg syndrome may have an underlying problem with their veins working properly. Okay. And they may not know that that's what's causing the symptoms and frequently the doctors don't know that either. So it is something that if they have restless leg syndrome and either they have a family history of varicose veins or they have varicose veins, uh, even without any showing, if they have a family history, they, they may need to have something done to look to see if the veins are an issue. Is restless leg always something that affects people at night? Not always at okay. night, but it also often can be when they're just sitting down and, and resting, you know, kind of taking a break during the day, okay. that they may have those symptoms as well. Okay. Now, what about cramps in the legs? Yeah, leg cramps, Charlie horses, especially at night. You know, people always thought it was calcium or potassium and all these different things. And I think during pregnancy, there's some of that. Right. But other times, it may again be the vein problem. I know my husband woke up in the middle of the night one night, kind of laying across the bed horizontally, yeah. so, and he didn't even know that he had done this because he had such a horrible cramp in his leg, and it's because of venous problems. Okay, and it's sometimes something you don't see on the outside, right. I'm guessing. And then sometimes people have like leg fatigue or tiredness. Right, just tired legs. People think mm -hmm. having legs that are tired at the end of the day, they expect. Or as they get older, they're supposed to have tired legs, but really they're not. Mm -hmm. And so if you really have fatigue at the end of the day, especially if you stand a lot, or if you just sit at a desk all day and you're tired and have to, you feel you want to put your legs up at night, that you could may be have a, a problem with veins. So those three symptoms, any one of those can potentially mean that you should visit uh, and That's have right. something done about your veins. Um, and some people have vein symptoms without any evidence, really, of That's varicose correct. veins, right? Yes. Okay. Well, how do you, what do you do with these veins? How do you treat it? How do you diagnose it? Well, the way we diagnose veins vein issues is with a diagnostic ultrasound. Mm -hmm. So that's a painless study that we do with people standing up so we can see the effects of gravity because the veins are the vessels that are returning the blood to your heart and lungs after the oxygen's been removed. So they're flowing upstream back to the heart and lungs against gravity and we rely on little one-way valves in the veins to prevent the blood from being pulled back down by gravity. Okay. But the vein issues develop because those valves aren't working and so blood pools in the veins and the veins get distended, overfilled and that's what leads to the symptoms. And so we start with the ultrasound so we can see which veins are working, is the flow going in the proper direction or not, and then we can tell where the varicose veins enter, if there are varicose veins, or what the problem is. And, and treatment of those veins has come so far. There's so many advancements in that field, oh, aren't there? it's fantastic. You know, what we do now is totally minimally invasive. There's really no reason for a person to have to go to the hospital to have a vein stripping or have a general anesthetic to have anything done with their veins. It can all be done under local anesthesia in an office setting. That's wonderful, because I think a lot of people would think, oh, I'm going to have to make a hospital visit, right. have surgery, like you said, be put under, use anesthetic. Yes. Which and, is, and it's the just safety safe. is, it's safer because when you have a general anesthetic, you're lying still and your body's not moving even involuntarily. Okay. And so you don't have any muscle contraction keeping the blood flow going in your deep veins underneath the muscles. But when you're awake and having just local anesthetic injected to numb everything up, you are moving. It's a normal mm -hmm. thing to move around a little bit and then you can get up immediately after the procedures, walk out, walk around. And so you're reducing your risk of getting the major complication of all hospitalizations, which is deep vein clots. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's probably, you know, you said it's safer and part of that is the recovery time, Absolutely. I would imagine. Yes. You're doing a, a screening at the end of this month as That's well as right. until October, uh, the right? Last week of September, first week of October, we have some complimentary screenings we're going to do for people who don't know if perhaps their symptoms are from veins or not. 
And so we'll have them come in and we'll have nurses doing some triage screening. Uh, we can take pictures if we need pictures. And then we'll also possibly have somebody just there to do a quick ultrasound to see if that is an issue to determine whether or not they need a formal evaluation. And again, that's a painless way totally of painless. figuring out whether or not you have a problem. And right. then again, the treatments come so far. And again, most of these pr procedures are done minimally invasive. They all are. They're all done through needle punctures. Okay. And so absolutely everything can be done through a series of little needle punctures if there's a big vein to remove or if we're closing something off with a laser it's done through one needle puncture internally. No reason to wait to get them treated. Here's right. the information so you can get in touch with the Wisconsin Vein Center and Medispa and find out about those free screenings coming up at the end of this month as well as the first week of October. They are located on Georgetown Drive in Pewaukee. The phone number for more information is 262-746-9088 or you can go to WI medispa.com for more information. Thanks for your time today. Thanks very much, Molly.